Welcome to The Advocate, a program that thrashes out all the topical issues of the day. When you are in government, you don't see nothing wrong mm, with exactly. whatever is happening. The moment you are out there, everything is that wrong. Is, you can't even see yes. many women now, and when they're there, they're not even really making a mark, and then they have an NYSC problem, and this is that. Really? It's disastrous for a president to, even say to be unaware. unaware of it, the chief it's justice. It's a ploy. It could be a strategy. That strategy it's was a terrible, like fire. A terrible <laughs> strategy. <laughs> because the box stops at your table. Whether it's that we don't look after our cities, and quite frankly, Nigeria is becoming a very ugly place. Mm. When you are the only one feeding the people with this news, and there is nobody countering them, it becomes, you know, the, the news. Welcome to The Advocate. Five panelists, five topical issues, no holds barred. It's necessary to reiterate that, so that you know what you're letting yourself in for. That way, you won't be disappointed. On today's edition, I'll be kicking off after the opening whistle by challenging what I say is the unfair advantage of transgender men participating in female sports. Rukewe, or Rookie, as she, she likes to be known, is landing with an unapologetic bang. She'll be throwing a hard punch by taking on primary health care. Ekene has turned youth counsellor. She is saying it's okay to wait. Wait for what? Wait and find out. Liberus continues to spotlight the hate speech agenda. He says it's, it's hatred when you make campaign promises and fail to fulfill them. That's pretty down to earth. Bolahan goes spiritual on us. In fact, he is advocating that the anti-corruption war be extended to the spirit world and target the ghost workers. Like I said, think no holds barred and you're in for a treat. After the break, keep it locked. Inherent in the activity known as sports is the understanding that the athletes will be competing on a level playing field. One can't miss the various stories making the rounds on social media of males who now identify as females who go on to compete against biological females and win easily. Things have gotten to the point that a high school girl in America recently filed a federal complaint for having to race boys who identify as girls. As a former athlete, I completely object to these happenings. Just because someone chooses to identify as the opposite gender does not make them that gender. I know in today's world, this may be an unpopular view, but it is what it is. In sports, care is taken to eliminate any unfair advantage. That is the reason the use of performance enhancing drugs are prohibited. So having men compete against women, as is in these cases, constitutes an unfair advantage, don't you think? It is interesting that women who identify as men don't compete against biological males. Why? Because they're automatically at a disadvantage due to their physical and biological makeup. Just imagine if this were a boxing match or a wrestling match. Imagine no further. This actually happened at a mixed martial arts match. A man identifying as a female got in the ring with a biological female and left her with a cracked skull. It seems to me women's sports is under attack. We have now become a society which has taken political correctness to an extreme. Rather than treat transgenderism as the disorder that it is, we're seeking to embrace, validate, and legitimize it to the detriment of real women like you and me. Well, it should not be allowed in sports, as not only can it be life-threatening, as we have heard already, it makes a mockery of the results and the time and effort these women have invested only to be beaten by a man who says he is a woman. The only real way to ensure competitive fairness in women's sports is to keep men out. Yes, oh, wow. the only way to make something a women affair is to make it a women affair. Thank you. The only way to make something a man affair is to make it a man affair. Mm. And, and, and so for somebody who simply says, I identify as a woman, he, that does not make that person a woman. Mm -hmm. And like somebody says, Boy Scout is Boy Scout. Guest guide is guest guide. And, and so when you now say because, why is it that we're talking about because you feel you are, you are trapped in a man's body and so I should assume you're a man. Mm. Why don't you feel 
as a young boy, why don't you feel trapped in an old man's body? And so I should assume that you're old, an old man. You, you know, so this has to stop, really. And like you said, it creates an unnecessary advantage. Mm -hmm. There's a reason for allowing women to compete amongst women. It's just like Lionel Messi saying, oh, I'm a man. Oh, I'm a woman, mm. and then you allow him to, to play the in the female, female league. Female. Gosh, <laughs> yeah. But there's a real issue about intersex, where uh, there's a there's a genuine mix up between male and female. Yes, which I biologically. Yeah. Yes, and so, yes, understood. Um, the woman has to choose, or mm. the man has to choose. So, like Samaya, she can say, yeah, like "I want a, to run as a woman yeah. or as a man," mm -hmm. because she's got more testosterone, mm -hmm. obviously, because she's not fully developed as a woman. Mm -hmm. So that's the real issue. Yes, and they, I think they were banning her recently. Mm -hmm. Or oh, they told of, her she had to take. Yes, yeah, so uh, to now either go her. down to um, the male category mm -hmm. or take drugs to repress to re her testosterone, yes, her testosterone yes. because she has the power of a woman. Mm -hmm. why, does, why does a man run faster than a woman? Because of the muscle mass mm -hmm. and the testosterone. Yes, yes. So it's a totally different makeup. Yes. And because of that, it's not fair to allow these categories to mix at all yes. because we're biologically very I different. Mean, I, for me, the interesting point um, is, you know, I, I think there was a point you made that which I understood. About the, you know, that if, why don't the women, women don't. Yeah, yeah. So you can see that there's, to some extent, some scheming going mm. on. You know, it's one thing to want to identify as a man. It's within your, you're within your rights as society permits. So I don't really want to go saying, calling it disorder, mm. even though from my perspective, that's what I see it as. But you <laughs> no, I'm just trying to say you have to respect the individuals. But where it now crosses the line, is where society then allows other people to be disadvantaged. Yeah, they start because of what you call, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. for example, I know a case, and this is where I, I believe it lands with the courts. In the UK, there was a woman who wanted to identify as a man. Mm. Um, so she did all the, the, the oh. surgery and she looks like a man, but she then got pregnant, mm. had a baby, and then went to the courts to mm. register her as the dad. <laughs> and they so you're not a dad, you're a woman. Yeah. Biologically, you're the mother. So you they refused. So that ruling was made complete sense. So where I want to bring it home is because we don't have those challenges in Nigeria, the, the only like comparison I can find is, you know, this whole political correctness where you're, you're something that makes sense to you ordinarily on a one-on-one. -on -one, mm. You will now, because you're in a group setting, you want to pay lip service. Mm -hmm. You know, you want to say what is... To, you mm -hmm. know. Or so maybe, something that doesn't make sense to you. <laughs> yeah, because you want to be accepted by the group. To your point. You know? I, I, I think there's a bigger... The, the sport, what we see in sport, mm -hmm. sport is just a microcosm of the larger society. Yeah. So once the larger society start dealing with this matter at the level of recognizing male as female, female as male, transgender, transvestite, all those levels, it is bound to start playing out in several other segments mm -hmm. of the society. Mm -hmm. And that is what we're feeling in the mm -hmm. sport. I want to vote so. the point, um, just what she said and mm -hmm. what you're saying. Actually, there was a case where they put a woman out of business because this man wanted to be waxed <laughs> as, a, as, a, as a woman. And she says, no, I, the genitalia is, is not the same. Mm -hmm. I don't do female wax and uh, mm -hmm. men waxes. There's a shop next door who does for men. But she said, no, I'm a female. <laughs> and, and he took her to court. Yeah. And the ruling was in the favor of this of transgender. The... And she went out of business because she didn't have money she... to fight them in court. Oh, well, wow. it was really unfair. She only learned how to wax women. It's Our a totally different thing to wax complex. testicles than, you know, yeah, the female part. Yeah. And so it's, it's a real problem no, it's more a than the sport. Yeah, but, but what I'm saying is that it doesn't really affect us in Nigeria. That's it, it, does, it does. 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 Um, you don't have to wait until we have enough problems mm. already. <laughs> <laughs> if you now wait until this confronts us, there <laughs> will be a real I mind, you, I mind all, you here, it's we hidden. don't advocate for only Nigeria, we mm. advocate for a better society. No, I understand. You have viewers all over the yes, world. Yes, I and get so, you. But for the fact that it doesn't affect us here now, <laughs> the what do you call it? Um, the transgender thing does not I mean, affect us, but it took our legislators to say, you know what, let's quickly deal with this. Mm. But do we have transgender? Uh, yeah, we do. We do. Let, me, uh, let me even give you an example. Because uh, uh, I know it's not. We cannot be mentioning no, no, no. it. No, no, no. Recently, 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 you have gone on this, your popular, toilet. what do you call it? No, yeah. me, and who went to ShopRite? and insisted that... He will use the female he, toilet. Yes, he will use but the female yes. okay. yeah. And they told him, get out. Of you course. cannot yeah, you use can. the female toilet. Yes. Yeah. So it's getting more complex. We, it we, is. we yeah. cannot yeah. begin to look at this it. as if it's something far away. No, it's, it's not. Because it's right here to, with I, us. The reason why I was saying the popular views, because I'm trying to say, okay, the average person who is not dealing with the transgender problem will still have that dichotomy where something that makes total sense, let's just even say um, pensions, mm -hmm. and you're, you're in a, a, a group of a House of Senate and you're a senator, and you know that this is wrong. But instead, because you don't want to be the odd one out, you, you 
You stay alone. You decide to align. That's where the world is going. The reason I had to bring it up because sports will it will get to us quicker through sports than any yeah than anything because we're going to be watching and seeing these things. If I know I can't compete favorably with my mates, I just claim I'm a woman and then I go. There's a lot of it is going on now. Women, women's races, women's wrestling, women's everything. Men, you know. I mean, who claim to be? You just you just I. Sign yourself a gender and then yeah. you get yeah, on with it exactly. just to win. Because it works for you. Yeah. Yeah. Right. We're all about freedom of speech on The Advocate. Rookie speaks out on a matter she is passionate about and seeks to share the passion with us after the break.